Hi, uh, my name is Clementine Morgan and I'm here by the train tracks. This is one of my favorite places to be and it's the summer. So I thought I would do um, a little video here. Hopefully you can hear me because there is like traffic and stuff. Um, but look how nice it is. It's so nice. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do a little reading from uh, Fucking Magic number five, but I don't have the zine here, so I'm going to read it off my computer. Um, and the other thing I wanted to tell you about is my website, clementinemorgan.com. Um, you can order Fucking Magic on my website, and I wanted to mention my Patreon, so if you like my work, if you find my work helpful, um, it would be great if you could check out my Patreon. Um, Patreon's a website where you can basically subscribe um, uh, for five bucks a month. You can become a patron of my work. You get access to a whole archive of my writing that isn't available anywhere else. And also I post about three or four um, new pieces of writing up there every month that you can't get anywhere else. And you can also find out about projects that I'm working on, stay in the loop. Um, but it's a really um, great way to support me and my work um, and help me survive under capitalism. So thank you so much for your support. That's uh, patreon.com slash Clementine Morgan. And the links to that and my website um, will be below. Um, so I'm going to give a content warning for this piece. Um, talks about child abuse, sexual violence, and also like self-esteem and body image stuff. Um, and generally like trauma and stuff, as my writing usually does. Um, so there's a heads up, and the piece is called See Through Blue. All my life, I learned that I had to earn love. I learned that I had to earn it by being something other than what I am, by surrendering up my basic needs, by changing myself fundamentally to become lovable. From a very young age, I knew that I was sexy, whatever that means. As a very young child, I remember knowing that I was fuckable. I knew that my grandfather wanted to fuck me, but I didn't know for sure that I was lovable. I felt that love was something I had to earn, to work for, to change myself for. I also knew that being sexy and fuckable might be the closest I would get to love. I remember being like 10 years old with my tiny new breasts and looking in the mirror thinking, yeah, I have a good body, but I don't have a pretty face. All my life, I learned that I was fuckable, but not lovable. Someone everyone was fucking on the side. All my life, I learned that women and femmes were ranked based on our appearances, put into competition we never consented to, and I learned that I was definitely not a 10. I had this fear, this deep down terror, that any love I managed to find could easily be taken away from me if a 10 happened to take interest in the person I loved. Attraction and desire were never safe. Love was never safe. And the people I loved frequently told me all the ways I was not good enough, not quite deserving. The people I loved told me what I needed to do to make myself better. And I worked hard on it. I became, I worked hard on it because I desperately wanted to be loved. And if I couldn't be loved, then I'd let them fuck me anyway. Because all my life, I'd learned that sex might be the closest I would get to love. I have come so far and done so much work. I have done so much therapy and I have gone so deep down to uproot those beliefs, but they have very deep roots. I am surprised to find myself operating as if these things are true. I am surprised to find the death call of jealousy, the alert that all love and safety will vanish if a 10 comes to take my place. Even though I find this way of thinking abhorrent and unethical, even though I know it is violent and misogynist, even if I know that real love is not something that can be measured on a scale and that real attraction has no interest in hierarchies, I am still shot through with terror. Once my partner was telling me that to them, numbers and words have colors associated with them. I asked them if names do too and they said yes. I asked them, what color is Clementine? And they said see through blue. Falling in love with my partner has been the most terrifying and profoundly healing experience of my life. My partner is a beautiful person. They are good and kind and ambitious and principled and smart and daring and brave and sexy as fuck. This person who I so easily fell head over heels for loves me too. It is the first time in my life I have been in a partnership where I am truly loved, 
Loved in a real way. Loved in a way where I know I am safe. Loved in a way where I keep learning that love is not something I earn by being something other than who I am. My partner shows me that I am loved for being exactly who I am. It's scary to finally have the love I've always wanted and never really believed was possible. Sometimes the deep roots of my old beliefs become activated and I become terrified that some arbitrary thing like not knowing how to do winged eyeliner will signal the end of my ability to be lovable. It sounds absurd, but the terror can rise up in my body as a visceral reality. This is what complex PTSD does. I told my partner, I told my partner about these fears. I told my partner about the rating system and the fact that I've been rated and that there is still a part of me that is hypervigilant about these things. My partner was horrified that I could hold these beliefs, that I could really think that my lovability was connected to something like winged eyeliner, that I could even imagine them walking around rating femmes on a scale of 10. And I know that they're not, but deep down in my traumatized body mind, I am still so scared. They listened to my fears. They showed me that having these fears doesn't make me unlovable, that it is safe for me to be this vulnerable, to show them these parts of me that haven't healed yet, that are still in so much pain. We had long conversations about it. I felt heard, and I also learned so much about other ways to experience and conceptualize attraction and desire. I felt safe. I feel safe. My love said to me, Clementine, on a scale from one to 10, you are see-through blue. Um, yeah so thanks for listening thanks for watching um, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more of these videos and uh, thanks so much for your support of my work